I do like that song from local artist Lori Marks Vincent, My Deliverer. And Lori is with me in the studio. And uh, Lori, you're um, taking a bit of a new direction now. Have you got a new album out or is it just a new song that we're debuting today? This is a new song because it's an individual project. I do have a new album I'm working on. I'm very excited about it. And actually, I've started to get the music in from the studio and starting to rehearse the songs to go in to do the vocals. That's all exciting. But this particular project is a one song project for a special cause. And I'm a little bit aware of it. Now, there is a 40 days for life, right? Life, 40 days and for it's life been going on. Now, mm -hmm. now, just tell me, does that tie in with when I'm driving down Commissioners of Wellington and the folks are around the uh, Victoria Hospital there? Picketing, if I can, not picketing, really. They're not picketing. Well, they're they're actually, praying it's and they're praying, yeah, and it's, 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 it is a vigil. It's a unborn. prayer vigil. And yeah. uh, I don't think that we realize how much our presence actually is important there um, for people to see our conviction because then it may be helps them to reevaluate their decisions and choices in life when it comes to the unborn child that they would carry if they're making a decision uh, to terminate a pregnancy um, for just convenience sake or whatever whatever the purpose is you know a life is always precious and valuable so this whole topic is close to you more than it would have been probably five years ago. Can, For you, certain. can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, we're always pro-life, you know, we always value life, but until life is actually at risk for us, then we start to really count the blessings. And we lost a grandchild due to abortion. Um, it wasn't just something that we could control. Um, you know, the father has no rights in the say. And the mother has all the rights in the decision because it she wants to make it her choice. It's her choice, you know, and it's her body. And these are all of the things that we're told, you know, about why an abortion is okay. Um, but the truth is, is that we're all created in God's image, including that tiny little baby that has yet still to be fully formed. And that's valuable in God's eyes. And that's where we should hold our highest value is because God sees the baby as the most precious thing so why shouldn't we see it that way I think when it became very poignant for me this is going to sound really uh, simple mm -hmm. but my brother-in-law for a while I don't know if he still does but on his lapel he would have a little pin and it was not even a centimeter in height mm -hmm. and it was the little feet yes of um, a fetus yes. and that has always stayed with me a little baby Yes, I believe in the it's making. 10 weeks the size of those feet on that pin. And if you ever see someone wearing that pin, or if you have one of those pins, then you have an idea of how small a little 10 week old infant is in its, in its womb, in its mummy's womb, and you know, just uh, growing and being nurtured and there. And so I think that, that we start to recognize how important it is. You know, it's not until you realize that you see a picture and it becomes reality, you know, and I know that uh, when I first saw my first ultrasound, when our first was, I was pregnant with our first, and, um, you know, I saw him take his thumb and put it up to his mouth to suck his thumb, and it was so cute, and I was like, oh my goodness, he's doing that now. Yeah. <laughs> so they have all the DNA and everything, hair color, eye color, everything, the height, and everything is built in to them from the moment the egg and the sperm unite. Wow. Mm -hmm. That puts it in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. God has it all planned. And you're right, beginning. the DNA will all be there. I guess I just hadn't put it together in those terms, that's but right. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is not just, can I say this? I even hate to say it, it's so disrespectful. It's not just a blob. It's not just a blob. It's not just a blob of cells. And unfortunately, a lot of young women are pressured into having an abortion because of all sides. You know, perhaps the boyfriend is feeling like he's uncomfortable with it, the parents his parents, her parents, you know, other friends can be making uh, the young girl feel pressured to do that. And it's, it's uh, unfortunately, it's a reality. And then they go into abortion clinics and often are told that it's just a blob of flesh. It's not really a problem anyway. So it's not really a child. It's not really a baby. It's not going to feel anything. But, you know, truth is, is that by the time you find out you're pregnant, the nervous system is already in set to some degree. And for the amount of weight and, and body that is present for that baby while it's growing the nervous system is enough for that and so it's going to feel it mm -hmm. that baby will feel it you know and so um that is part of the reason why the love life project started out and and that is your project that, that is the project love life project mm -hmm. and it started basically because i wrote a song called this miracle 
encouraging listeners to um, you know just think about the gift of life and not to miss this chance this miser- this miracle that that they have growing inside them not to miss this chance because you're going to regret it later on you're going to miss and wonder what would that baby looked like what were the smiles like well how would it giggle how would it smile how would it laugh you know uh, what color would their eyes be you know you're going to think those things for the rest of your life and you're going to miss blessings that come with that relationship that you can have with that baby for the rest of your life afterwards so um that was when i wrote this miracle shall we listen to it right now All you right. set it up very well i can't wait to hear it now from that perspective this miracle Lori marks vincent on faith fm Marks Vincent and her new song. We're debuting it today here at Faith FM, This Miracle. And uh, 
Lori, you said uh, there's some segments of this new project. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. It's a DVD project, so This Miracle is actually a music video with a compelling storyline in it to speak to the young woman or young man's heart about the decision that they're making. And then there's also um, a nine-minute award-winning film. It's a 3D film of an infant who hears a conversation going on between its mother and its father as it's developing in the womb and senses the stress and the pressure that's going on between them and you can see the infant as it's responding even at just 15 to 20 weeks responding to the parents it's very very compelling is this photography this is actually 3d animation animation okay yeah and it's yeah, an award-winning okay. film oh, it's cool it's won i think three or four different okay. awards for the um, animation and storyline okay. and and it's life compelling story so i mean it's very very um you have to go and see it on the website. I was going to say, yeah, you tell really us do. where to find it. Yeah, you can find um, the trailer for it at uh, lovelifemovement.com. And I'll repeat that again, but it's lovelifemovement.com. The third segment of it is short testimonies about um, that young women and young men are, are sharing, almost giving a warning to those that are, are considering an abortion because they've been through it and they know what they felt and they know how they had to recover. And some say they never recover. And the fourth segment is actually quick facts about the consequences and the, the things that you go through, the facts, the spiritual and emotional and the physical consequences of something like this. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, give, me the web give us all the website again. And the website is lovelifemovement.com and it's in the process of work right now, so we are accepting. We've had donations come in all the way oh, from Australia cool. for this. So it is really a great cause, and this is great during the 40 Days for Life campaign mm -hmm. to think about this and pray about this. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, the song we just heard, This Miracle, how can mm -hmm. listeners find that song? That's right on the website as well. They can listen to it. It's lovelifemovement.com. And you know what? I just wanted to say the 40 Days for Life uh, campaign so far, I think it's in 30, day 35 or 36 right now, and it has actually saved nearly... 400 babies. Mothers have changed their minds. Wow. About having an abortion just because. Fantastic. Yes. So, I mean, all these projects and things that we do are so important. This one that we're doing, the Love Life Movement, is very educating and it's also uh, compelling and it speaks, you know, schools can use it, doctors can use it, crisis pregnancy centers can use it, everyone can use it to speak to someone's heart. We've got to wrap up our time. I know. This is live radio. we got to keep going. I but this know. has been so good. I'm so glad that you were able to come in and mm -hmm. highlight the 40 days for us. That was important that we do that yeah. here on Faith FM. I'm so glad you were able to do it. Lori, where can we see you? Now, this may not be related to this project, but I hear something about a Christmas program. Yeah, coming. there's a Christmas little Christmas cafe coming up. And where is it? It's right here at YFC, uh, 254 Adelaide Street, on December the 11th. And it is... Um, do you know what time? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, and that's a Wednesday, yes. December 11th. And yes. who, who's going to be there real quick? Uh, this comedian, a comedian, uh, Judy Carcass. I think I'm saying her name right. It's Cars Cassin or something okay, like that's that. That's fine. Um, yep. Great lady, and uh, and myself. And so I'll be featuring some Christmas music, and I don't have a Christmas album, but it's more to just really fellowship and get together and have a Christmas a time of Christmas celebration together. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Time again, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, December 11th. Right here at the YFC building. Thank you, Lori yes. Marks Vincent, so much for coming in today. Thank you.